Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. At this time, you may be seated. Here at Piedmont Middle School, we work hard on celebrating our cultural and linguistic diversity. We'd like to highlight this by having some of our eighth graders in welcome you in the many different languages spoken by students at Piedmont Middle School. So, in English, welcome to the eighth grade celebration ceremony. In Amharic, Sementinya Kifit. In Spanish, Benvenidos a nuestra ceremonia de celebración de octavo de grado. In Bulgarian, Dobre dushli na nashato tervestvo po suje zavarshvetu na osmi klas. In Punjabi, Atve Jilmat de Jashante Tardash Sugar Hai. In Mandarin, Huang Ying Lai Dao Ba Nian Ji Bi Ye Dian Li. In Korean, Yorobun Har Han Yaman. Yarawin Parhanyum Trop Shige Oshin Kosur Hyan Hamga In Hebrew Rochim Havaim Lesium Shelano Bishpil Kitachet In Cantonese, Pulling Gamlam Paling Kapka Pali Fly. In Russian, Dobre Paral with Nanashu Ceremonio Vasmova Klasa. In Sign Language, Welcome, Friends, and Family to our eighth grade. In Vietnamese, Hung Jo Wei Khat Cung Dan Tham Yu Lễ Gia Trường Lớp Tám Của Trường Trung Tôi And now, I would like to introduce our principal, Mr. Ryan Fletcher. Good evening, and a very warm welcome to everyone who's joining us for Piedmont Middle School's 8th grade celebration ceremony. I'm Ryan Fletcher, and I have the privilege of being principal at Piedmont Middle School. Before I start, I would like to thank Dr. Andrea Mullen and the 8th grade jazz band for providing the wonderful music leading up to our ceremony. And a special thanks to our fantastic custodial staff and maintenance crew and the 8th grade parent reps who have worked so hard to prepare this venue for us today. Thank you. I'd like to acknowledge a few special people, many of whom are present up here behind the podium or in the stands today. Superintendent Randy Booker and Assistant Superintendent Cheryl Wozniak. School board members Corey Smagel, Megan Pillsbury, Veronica Anderson Thigpen, Amal Smith, and Hillary Cooper. Thank you all for your continued support. I'd also like to recognize our outstanding teachers, counselors, and support staff for their hard work and commitment to our students. They have done an exemplary job guiding, challenging, and connecting with this eighth grade class of 2022. Can you all join me in a round of applause for these amazing educators? Thank you all. I am so glad that we can gather here today to honor our eighth graders and celebrate this meaningful milestone in your lives, marking the passage from middle school to high school and recognizing all that you have accomplished during your time at PMS. You have grown in so many ways and our community has thrived because of you. 
It's been a privilege to be your principal and to share the, your journey through middle school. I feel so proud of who you are, your talents, skills, interests, and passions. And I am so proud of what you represent, the culture, values, and integrity of our school, which I know you will carry with you into high school and beyond. In previous speeches, I've talked a lot about my own children, Quinn and Allie, who are now eight and six and have attended every eighth grade celebration so ceremony since I have become I started here. I've shared stories and experiences from their lives. They teach me important lessons every day about being brave, staying positive, practicing patience and flexibility, about the importance of community and showing kindness to ourselves and to others, about celebrating differences, embracing our mistakes, and honoring who we are and where we come from. This year feels especially significant as it's my last one in Piedmont and the last time attending this eighth grade celebration. As I reflected on all that I've learned in my time at PMS and all that I will be taking with me as my family transitions to our new chapter in Colorado, I kept coming back to the people, the people, the people who make this community so special and the relationships that I have made my time here is so meaningful. I'm grateful for these years working with so many fantastic educators, and I deeply value the relationships I have built with teachers and staff members at PMS. You have been a joy to work with and an inspiration to be around. I have learned so much from all of you, and I am so proud of all that we have accomplished together in these last nine years. And I think about the connections that I've made with so many students and families throughout the years. I will miss you all tremendously, and I'm grateful for your endless support and ongoing partnership. So in thinking about what I wanted to share most with this eighth grade class today, I realized that I want to convey the importance of relationships and how they will have impact on your lives. Relationships matter, simply put. Wherever you go, whatever you do, your relationships shape your lives in big ways and in small ways too. Relationships with your friends matter. Relationships take work. You need to be able to listen to those around you and hear when someone is in need. I encourage you all to surround yourself with positive relationships, the ones that will boost your spirit and the people that will lift you up. Avoid relationships that will drag you down. Embrace the people who will help you on your journey towards becoming the best version of you. The ones who will recognize and validate you for who you are and inspire you to be the real, authentic you. Strive for balance in your relationships. Ask yourself, do you provide time and space for others just as they provide time and space for you? And remember, it's never too late to make connections and build relationships. Sure, it may be great to maintain a strong bond with someone you've known since kindergarten and building a new relationship with someone who just moved to Piedmont can be equally fulfilling and meaningful. Relationships with trusted adults matter. Those who know me well know that I care deeply about our students and the relationships they forge with adults on campus. Students, as you sit here today, Think about the adults in your life that, have forged strong, that you have forged strong relationships with. Perhaps a teacher, counselor, coach, mentor, paraprofessional, nurse, custodian, or food service employee. The list goes on and on. My hope is during your time here at PMS that you were able to create meaningful relationships with a number of adults over the years. And hopefully you thank them along the way. If not, it's never too late to express that gratitude. A simple note or email can, uh, can communicate that gratitude, and in doing so, you can make someone's day. Relationships with family matters. Students, look up in the stands right now and spot the family members who are in attendance this evening. They are the ones who have shuttled you to and from school, coordinated all your after-school activities and events, and helped you along your journey at Piedmont Middle School. Students, Let's pause and give a round of applause for, together and thank them for supporting you that, this way.
And lastly, your relationship with yourself matters. Are you listening to what is important to you? Are you living your life in a way that makes you happy, fulfilled, and proud? Will you continue to explore and follow your dreams? Students, be kind to yourselves and be kind to each other. Give yourselves the space, the time, the permission to wander and wonder. Remember that no one is perfect, and when we make mistakes, we learn from them. There's a simple quote that I love. Forget the mistake, remember the lesson. Bottom line is this, live your life in a way that makes you proud. Be an upstander, help others. Don't fall into following others, especially if they are leading you down the wrong path. Whether you're moving on to PHS, MHS, or another high school next year, I hope you will grow and nurture your relationships that you have forged here at PMS and you will continue to cultivate them in your years in high school. As my days in Piedmont come to an end, I feel especially grateful for this wonderful community, and I continue to thank the many outstanding educators around me at PMS who have supported me during my tenure as principal. These relationships have helped shape who I am today. I will take them with me as I move forward on my path, and I will hold them in my heart, and I hope you all will do the same. Congratulations to this eighth grade class of 2022. Everyone here in attendance is so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Stay healthy and safe and have a wonderful summer. Embrace and enjoy the journey ahead. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce the next principal of Piedmont Middle School, Ms. Karen Shipp. Here at Piedmont Middle School, we have students involved in many activities. I will be highlighting a few and asking students to stand who have participated during their time at the middle school. Students, when a program is named that you have been involved with, please stand. If you have played sports at PMS, cross country, flag football, basketball, volleyball, track and field, ultimate frisbee, and so on, please stand. Thank you. You can be seated. If you have been involved in leadership at PMS, Safe Schools Ambassadors, Be the Change Club, Acts, Safe Space, or the Associated Student Body, please stand. Thank you. If you have ever studied or spoken another language, please stand. Thank you. If you were a part of a club, such as Makers, Animal Club, Debate Team, Rubik's Cube Club, Chess Club, Change Your Life Club, Math Leads, Movie Club, Kahoot Club, Tech Club, Dance Club, Drone Club, Change Your Life Club, Cooking Club, Photography Club, and so on, please stand. Thank you. If you have ever worked on the yearbook, yearbook and broadcasting class, please stand. Thank you. If you have ever participated in the spelling bee, please stand. Thank you. If you have ever been in a performing arts production, such as the talent show, musical, instrumental performance, and so on, please stand. Thank you. 
If you have ever attended a PMS dance with DJ Haita, please stand. Thank you. If you are a Scots counselor, please stand. Thank you. If you have ever received an A on a report card, please stand. Thank you. These are just a few examples of the many programs in, that students are involved with at Piedmont Middle School. We are so fortunate to have such a well-rounded program in the Piedmont community. Congratulations on learning and leading beyond the classroom. Now, I would like to introduce our first speaker, Caldiani Speakerman. that the past three years have been a roller coaster. We were all there when COVID began, when the trial of George Floyd happened, when the January 6th insurrection occurred, and when Ukraine was first invaded. We know this all happened, and we know how much these events impacted our lives and the greater world. But when we, the eighth grade class, look back over middle school, these events don't have to be the things defining our sixth, seventh, and eighth grade years. There were so many smaller moments and smaller events in our lives, events that made us excited to go to school, and events that were able to make our lives better, despite how insignificant they may have seemed compared to the bigger things. In sixth grade, we had the fun of watching our classmates lip syncs and drama, the Festival of the Nile Project and social studies, book clubs and March Madness with our friends in reading. In seventh grade, we had group chats going wild whenever we were bored, sorry teachers, read alouds and language arts, and the joy of going back to in-person school, even with social distancing. Who knew we would be so excited to walk up to school with heavy backpacks again? In eighth grade, we've had things like the kayaking trip, SBS games, choosing our own groups for projects, the boat dance, even just getting to be at school again with our friends in person. Small projects, activities, moments, and memories are all tiny compared to the big events surrounding us. But when all together, those tiny pieces come together to form one big mural, the picture of our middle school years. We can choose to look at the background of this mural and focus on the events that made middle school more challenging, or we can choose to see the foreground. We can choose to notice and remember all the little things that made middle school fun, that made our lives better. So when we look back on sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, one day might not be that significant. But in the bigger picture, each and every little day, every little moment, every little smile comes together to form the years that made us who we are. So as Brian Stevenson wrote in Just Mercy, the bad things that happen to us don't define us, and they never will. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to welcome our next student speaker, Patrick Breyer. I'm here today with some advice to my classmates as we transition into high school. Show up, be present. If you ask a question to someone such as, how are you, actually listen to them. Don't just ask them out of habit and keep walking. One thing COVID taught me is that we need each other. By being present and taking the time to listen to their answer, you're engaging in the conversation. You're showing up. Right now, you might be thinking, when is the ceremony going to be over? That's a perfect example of how not to be present. <laughs> Instead of wondering what you're going to do with your friends on the last day of school, try being grateful in this moment. Just remember, we could still be doing school from our bed. I learned this lesson about the importance of showing up during COVID. I'm not gonna lie, middle school is not always easy for me, especially distance learning. But whenever I would get down on myself about missing assignments or something that wasn't going well, my mom and dad would always tell me not to feel sorry for myself because everyone in this world was going through this time. My parents showed up for me with this advice, our teachers showed up for us online, and we should do the same for each other. Nothing in this world is given to you. You're gonna have to work for it. 
This transition into high school might be challenging, but every student will experience it. Was middle school hard? Sometimes, yes, but we are all here today. Was distance learning hard? Yes, but we found ways to connect. Were TED Talks nerve-wracking? Yes, but we all survived. Will ninth grade be hard? Sometimes, but together, we will get through it as long as we continue to show up. So stop to actually listen to how are you, put down your phone when you're with your friends, go to practice even if you don't feel like it, think positive about the future and yourself, show up Piedmont Middle School, today, tomorrow, and in the future, we all need each other. And mom, I put a box of tissue in your purse this morning, I tried to show up for you. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to welcome our last student speaker, Amelia Addington. We have spent our entire lives creating. Whether it be memories or an art project, we as humans create. And of course, we've gotten smarter at creating. In kindergarten, we use crayons in our imagination, and now we use technology in a mapped out plan to figure out how to navigate through the world. We've grown throughout the years and made it to eighth grade. We've overcome challenges and fates that no other generation could, could compete with. At 11 and 12, our lives were switched completely upside down as a global pandemic became the number one priority in America. At 12 and 13, we got into the rhythm of things as the new became normal. Now we are gathered here today as we're finishing the eighth grade after starting new again. We've experienced middle school like no other, creating projects, memories, and forming opinions along the way. As I look around and see the people that I've known my whole life, I ask myself, what will they create? I know I'm only an eighth grader, and I haven't spent much time wondering, learning, and creating, so I can't decide what my future will look like yet, nor can I decide what anyone else's will be. Although, I do know it will be great. I look around and I see future Olympians, politicians, lawyers, actors, and so much more. We go on with our lives, learning from mistakes and making the best of situations. We spend time with friends, family, working, and enjoying our free time. But most importantly, we create. We create around the clock when experiencing life, and as our middle school career comes to an end, my only question is, what will you create next? Thank you. And now I would like to introduce Miss Amy Sharp, Miss Lane Balban, Miss Karen Ship, and Mr. Ryan Fletcher for the presentation of our certificates. Thank you, Amelia. Before we start reading names for the promotion certificates, we want to acknowledge that one of our classmates is not here today. Let's take a moment to celebrate Claire St. John as well, thinking about her joyous smile, her positive energy, her approach to life, and one of her favorite songs, Treat People With Kindness. Let's take a moment of silence to think of her now and know she is with us today. Thank you. Okay, now we are excited to celebrate our eighth grade students with the presentation of the promotion certificates. Parents, Parents, before we start, we'd like to ask you that you hold your applause until the end so every family has the ability to hear their child's name called. At this time, will the first row please stand and approach the podium. I am proud to celebrate this PMS eighth grade class of 2022. Amelia Addington. 
Chaz Amikite. Gabriel Amikite. Quincy Antea. Marius Arno. Bill Ashton. Allison Atanasio. Sam Atanasio. Mayher Botcher. Milo Bakshi. Gabriel Barbosta Topete. Nathan Bacal. Alicia Bell. Albert Bellingraf. Zoe Berman. Skylar Best. George Bishop. Akash Bornstein. PJ Brer. Sennon Brody. Hallie Burden. Vivian Burke. Caleb Canada. Amelia Carter. Dylan Casey. Bryson Cheney. Samantha Chang. Alexander Chin. Laura Chun, Lily Colbert, Cassie Colby, Andrew Cooley, Nick. Castello, Abby Cothran, Mina Dao Hong, Mia Dare, Diego Delventhal Wong. Henry Devan, Celeste Dickinson, Ryan Dickey, Audrey Dickinson, Trenton Downing, Zachary Dupree. Evren Zuronstoim. Nate Eit. Duncan Ng. River Faust. Theodore Ferguson. Nico French. Julian Gard. Kian Gadari. Ryan Graham. Jonathan Gray. Amina Green. Elspeth Grabando. 
Leif Hadawi. Joshua Hammond. Shane Harris. Hadley Hayes. Brian Heathy. Sarah Hennessy. James High. Elijah Hildebrand. Emilio Hollingsworth. Caius Holmes. Summer Howe. Naya Humphrey. Samantha Wynn. Joseph Ichimaru. Bodie Ironside. Abigail Jacoby. Keon Jamesonaya. Sasha Perez. Geneva Johnson. Kate Jumper. Nico Kalamas. Timmy Kalamas. Mara Kemp Malone. Eddie Kim. Jonah Kim. Miles Kim. Robin Kim. Andrew King. Andrew Cobalt. Chloe Co. Adrian Kondakov. Trevor Cordestani. Ariana Cordum. Nola Krakatsky. Alice Creekhouse. Diego Conkey. Elia Kwong. At this time, will the first row please stand and approach the podium. Tony Lamb. Scarlett Lane. Tung Lee. John Lee. Stephanie Lee. Athena Lee. Sparrow Lou. Annalie Lipansky. Miranda Lou. Juan Lopez Cortez. Maddox Ma. 
Evelette Mack. Talhanai March Cunningham. Adelina Mbise. Luke McAuliffe. Darcy McKee. Sean McKee. Nathaniel McKenzie. Inara Metha. Jack Mays. Laurel Miner. Henry Mitchell. Ilias Mueller Harley. Peter Murdoch. Declan Murphy. Isabel Myers. Ian Dwen. Declan O'Connell. Elena O'Connell. Sydney Olson. Enzo Ong. Dahlia Osman. Walden Pan. Beta Pau Ziegler. Petro Papahajopoulos. Brooke Patchen. <laughs> Karina Patel. Aiden Patty. Luca Pena. Anderson Pereira Elliott. Luck Peterson. Cliff Plumier. Sophia Passamentier. Sasha Prasad. Sho Presley. Nula Price. Elias Reed Miguel. Olive Reining. William Richardson. Ryan Riddell. Nicholas Reardon. Ava Rivera. Lila Rosen. Mira Sachs. Rocco Salzer Garcia. Jameson Sanford. Jasper Schutz. Naftalia Siegel. Priyanka Sation. Finn Seibold. Quentin Shafroth. Sadie Shoup. Malia Shreve. Jason Shum. L. Sloan. Ezra Smith. Lucas Smolko. Wednesday Snyder. Noah Song. Arden Sorensen Wald. Kaliani Speakerman. Matthew Steinley. Nicholas Steinley. Oliver Tan. Mandy Tang. Madeline Tran. 
Naomi Treichler. Colin Tollick. Asher Villarreal. Claire Von Metch. Zoe Waitkiss. Benjamin Wakefield. Dashiell Waters Worthen. Peyton Watson. Nathaniel Welch. Margo White. Samantha White. Shay Whitney. Stella Wilk. Malia Williams. Lily Jacobo. Rachel Young. Edison Zhu. Everyone, please join me in a round of applause as we congratulate the eighth grade class of 2022. introduce Dr. Andrea Mullen for a performance by the members of the 8th grade jazz band. Good afternoon. We have a couple of soloists we will feature this afternoon. Sophie Pazamentier on clarinet, Milo Bakshi on piano, Laurel Minor on trombone, Naomi Treichler on alto sax, and Rachel Young on trumpet. We hope you enjoy downtown tango. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Andrea Mullen and the 8th grade jazz band for the wonderful performance. I would now like to invite up ASB presidents Skylar Best and Scarlett Lang, as well as other members from the associated student bodies. Hello, everyone gathered here to celebrate the 8th grade class. I'm Scarlett Lang. And I'm Skylar Best. And we were the presidents of ASB for the class of 2026. Congratulations, eighth graders. We came to middle school as sixth graders, feeling a little nervous and excited to start a new part of our lives. We had a blast at Scott's camp, getting to meet amazing eighth graders and learning about our new school. Quarantine was hard, but our eighth grade year was so special. We're so grateful that we got to have Scott's camp, field trips, dances, carnivals, the eighth grade boat dance, and growing closer to our friends. We are ready to begin our next chapter. While we could dwell on what we missed, let's instead appreciate what we got to experience. We want to thank our parents who kept up with us for the past three years. We also want to thank every teacher and staff member for putting in so much hard work to help us become more educated, responsible, and ready for high school. We really could not have done this without you. We are now the eighth graders that we once looked up to. Thank you to all the family and friends that are here and came to this memorable promotion. We're so grateful to our fellow ASB class members and our advisor, Mrs. Van Cleek, who all spent so much time making many fun events possible such as dances, SVS games, carnivals, spirit days, and fundraisers. And now we are going to recognize the following parents for all they have done this year to make our middle school years memorable. We give many thanks to the eighth grade representatives, Barbara DeCason, Michelle Heafy, and Jenny Osmond. <laughs> 
in honor. As well as the 2021 Parent Club President, Cassie Tristam, and 2022 Parent Club President, Claire Arno. Will you please all rise and accept this token of our appreciation. have been quite a blast and we're so excited to see where high school will take us. Thank you to everyone who has been with us along our journey and we will see you next year. Have a great summer PM at your school. And now we would like to turn it back over to our principal Mr. Fletcher for his final remarks. Thank you, Skylar and Scarlett, for your dedicated leadership. Students, parents, faculty, and staff, we have now come to the conclusion of our eighth grade celebration ceremony. Before we leave, I need to recognize the hard work of a few special individuals. Thank you to Adam Seville and to Mike Wong for all their behind the scenes help getting our student speakers ready for today's ceremony. And lastly, to Nicole Straley and Karen Palliser for all their hours of work that went into supporting this program and specifically all the moving pieces necessary so that we were able to hold this event for you here today. Thank you. At this time, students will be exiting the same way we entered the ceremony, but instead of going back up to the stands, they will be released near the scoreboard over here down by the field. Parents, you're welcome to come down to the field to meet your student and take pictures if you prefer. Again, thank you for coming this evening and for all of your support. And again, congratulations to this graduating class of 2026.